YouTube, so Paula Daisy here, day 53, and uh, we're going to call these Future Fridays, and today we're going to go back in the future, because I think it's important to tell the story, uh, not from the beginning, but I want to go back to the 2008 crisis, is what I really want to do, and that whole housing crisis, and what started to really lead, what, what really started to tr change for me. So, I think if we go back in time here... Uh, uh, it all started in 2006, and I'm just going to speed this up quickly, and today I just want to get to the trawler, when we were living on the trawler. So I'm going to go through this very quickly here so I can keep your attention, because <laughs> it could get boring very easily, but I think it's important to tell the whole story. So in 2006, we left uh, Alabama, basically. Uh, we moved in our motorhome. I personally wanted to stay in Alabama and just buy a house. I was looking for some property. But Bev was, uh, I think we were too far away from the kids and Bev really wanted to be closer to the kids. So we left Alabama, uh, had a little bit of money. Uh, we saved some money, we had a little bit of money. And uh, anyway, we got get to Vegas here and long story short is, I get a really good job and she goes back to work at the doctor's office. But back then, this should have been a, a tell of the times. She went back for about half of her regular pay when she went back to work for uh, the doctor, which was, uh, basically our brother-in-law so that right there should have told us something like he couldn't he couldn't have afforded to pay what he was normally paying so we already saw the big downturn which we all knew was coming anyway but and then we bought this house we bought a brand new house we had it completely built I loved the house it was probably one of my favorite houses I ever lived in I just absolutely loved it single story big property to park the motorhome and all the toys <clears throat> but the problem with that was I remember sitting down specifically with the broker, uh, you know, and we're, you know, we're building the house and everything like that. It was all exciting, very, very fun times. I got a great job um, in the exhibit uh, trade show business, uh, was making, you know, right at 100K a year. Anyway, and Bev was back working for the doctor. But long story short is I remember sitting down at that freaking desk with that uh, salesman for the, for the house that we bought. And I remember saying to this guy, I says, you know what? This is not going to end well. And he goes, what do you mean? I go, well, you're charging me 400 k for a $200,000 house. And he goes, yeah, but the market's dropping and everything, it, it's coming down. It's, it, you know, you're, you're, you bought it on the downside because it was, you know, we paid three eighty dollars for it. Woo, $20,000. The problem is it wasn't even nowhere close to being the bottom. We still had years to go to, to actually see that. But I recognized it very quick. I even recognized it from the day we purchased the house, which I think was a very smart, smart move on my part. And, and you know, it made Bev happy and she felt good for a little while, but, and we lost a shit ton. We lost all our money on that, that particular, uh, you know, that we had made in Alabama and brought there from selling our house. And we had a, uh, not a 401k, we had a Roth IRA. Anyway, we lost all of it, it was all gone. But in the end, we ended up gaining, and that's where that's that's basically where the story starts. How we ended up on the trawler. So 2006, we buy the house, close on it. Uh, you know, it's being built. It takes months. Probably at the end of 2006, 2007 comes in. I'm working. I'm making 100 grand a year. She's working. Uh, she's making probably 20, you know, 18 thousand dollars a year. Things uh, things are good. Uh, we got our motor home. We got all our toys. We got everything. And uh, one day, you know, you could see all this coming. You could see the housing market start to crash and implode. And one day, I had uh, got into a, a, uh, a messy fight with my boss. I really didn't like the company I was working for. I didn't like the direction they were going. And uh, I was trying to get out of there. And in the process of all that, I uh, lost my footing and I ended up getting uh, fired at basically. And then I couldn't, I couldn't collect unemployment or nothing. So it was rough, a rough, rough time. And then what really, really shocked us was Bev. She lost her job. So the doctor basically went out of business. And this is uh, 2008. All of this transpired so we ended up uh, uh, not making a house payment you know I just walked in the house one day she walks in the house one day I says we're not taking we're not doing anything we are not 
going to make another mortgage payment and we're not going to make any payments on anything, credit cards, anything. And we didn't have a lot of credit card debt, but we did have uh, a house payment, we had a motorhome payment, and we had car payments. We, we, we had a car payment on uh, HHR. So be, that being said, the I remember sitting there now and we are dead broke. I mean, we have nothing. When I say nothing, we were like literally, I, I may have $100 to my name. So I walk into Vegas, you know, I probably have assets and everything, probably, I don't know, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000. And now we have zero. Zilch, zero, nothing. Just, just you know, I mean, we're eating. Um, Bev lost her job. She's collecting unemployment. And that was it. We got, I think we got a $400 a week unemployment check. So we're eating, basically. And we're paying the utilities on the house. So long story short is I built this, we started having these garage sales to start liquidating some of our uh, uh, personal assets and it, they turned out huge. The gatherings turned out huge. Then I started selling, um, sorry about that. So then I started selling uh, anything I get my hands on, like Wii's and iPods and Apples and all of this stuff. It was just the time, it was the year before it all happened. <clears throat> and I uh, borrowed some money from a buddy of mine and he, you know, to help build up the inventory very quickly. It was $2,000 I borrowed and we're sitting there with nothing. And I built that up very, very quickly. And next thing you know, I'm sitting on $10,000. No, we're still living in the house. We haven't paid a mortgage payment. <clears throat> and we're going to lose the house. We know that. So they're going to pay us. Basically, we've already had notices and letters. And we're trying to get... The, uh, and they're going to pay us to leave the house. And, and that was the deal. But how long we were going to get to stay there, what we were going to get to do, we had no idea. So I turned uh, that $2,000. I paid back my buddy. And I turned that into $10,000. And then we went and picked up an RV, a... a travel trailer um, and then uh, we still resided in the house everything was still going good and we took that travel trailer and then we went on the road we started selling uh, basically uh, we took everything that we'd made now we had 10,000 plus about another five thousand dollars and then we started selling the pole hippie clothes and then we ended up in 2009 we ended up in Yuma Arizona selling these at the Yuma market. It was actually kind of cool. It, it, it was fun. I enjoyed it. Um, and we did really, really well. Uh, we lost, uh, uh, we didn't lose any money. We probably walked, when we walked away from that market in Yuma, we probably had about, uh, uh, we we're getting really close to the 30K mark in cash. Then we decided, okay, well, we leave here. I wanted to go live on the trawler down in California, so let's let's get let's start establishing a business down there, and uh, see if we could do anything. Well, we knew a market, we knew a place to go. We went down to Long Beach. Uh, we were familiar with that because in the past we had a boat down there in Long Beach, and that was you know I'd have to go back 15 years uh, before that. Um, so we kind of had a place. We had an idea. We had a, we were trying. Uh, it didn't go so well. We ended up going backwards a little bit, and I probably lost uh, about $5,000. But in the middle of all this, too, I got a job. And that job entailed me driving a bus for a couple of billionaires, and I got paid $2,000 a month just to be on standby to drive that bus. I had to have a Class B CDL, and... I, uh, all I had to do was literally, it was about uh, two to three hours a month, a week, basically. And that was, I'd have to go in and start the bus, make sure it had all its fluids, its draining, and all that stuff. And it was actually a pretty cool job, but the people were just, the, the, the particular person that I had to drive for was just horrendous. Just when you start dealing with these people on a daily basis and seeing what uh, what really drives the economy and what really drives, uh, you know, uh, the people and how these billionaires make their billions of dollars. It's just sickening what they do. It's, it's just unbelievable. This guy was probably the most ruthless, toothless, piece of shit fucking human being on the face of this earth. And 
you know, that, that's all I can say about him. Like, I just remember one time I was driving in the bus and he said something to me. I just, I just literally, I just snapped and I said, you know what? I got to stop her because I'll kill this guy. He, he was just an unbelievable, uh, you know, tyrant of, of society and he's just, and, and a billionaire. But long story short is, uh, ended up selling the bus. I actually made a little bit of money off that. I, I, um, and when we get to the boat here, I'll explain it. Anyway, go get back to LA. I had that gig going on in the background. And so I'd have to drive back whenever anybody wanted to do the bus or anything, I had to drive back to Vegas, you know, and it was a lot of work, but it was worth it. But the market in California did not work. It, uh, we were ended up, uh, I wouldn't say we lost money. We just didn't make any money. There was no sense. You know, we had given it a good, healthy try. We signed a six month contract and then we just didn't renew. We just, you know, that night we just left after six months. Packed up our trailer, the, the, the trailer, the RV that I had that we were living on in Yuma, went back to Vegas because we still owned that property, and, or we didn't own it, uh, we still weren't kicked out of it. And uh, we got back to Vegas there and uh, I decided to sell the RV and then we bought a trawler. Well, as that transpired, I made about 10,000 off of, the, I sold the trailer for about $7,500 is exactly what I sold it for. We had used it for about a year and a half, and, and it was our home. It was a place that, you know, once we got out of the house, we could go there and we could call it a home, so it had some security. But in the meantime, I found a trawler, and this is a picture of the trawler right here, so you start to see this, this whole dream come alive. And that's where I want to get to today. So I really want to show you this trawler right here, and then I'll tell you how that all transpired, because there was a job, there was... Uh, the bus sold, I, I made a little extra money and here we are living on this trawler. But I'm gonna stop it and end it here today. And uh, so we're back to the future here uh, and we're, we're just now looking at purchasing the trawler and how all that transpired. So anyway, Paul and Daisy, it's a Friday, Friday morning. We love you guys, peace out. We're so thankful, grateful. You know, and it's just an honor to be here. And, and I just think the story has to be told because it's, it's, the story's not over. It's, it's, it's just now unfolding. And we're gonna go back to that trawler life and how we get there. I think it's super, super interesting. So, and you know, it's, uh, I'm gonna get into starts the themes of these, you know, like choices and stuff like that. But today it's, you know, that's what it came down to basically is making choices. And you know, some of them can be very unpopular choices and some can be very good choices. So anyway, that, that's what I want to kind of leave you with today is in life, we all have to make choices. And whether you, whether we want to or not, it, it affects us down the road. And some of us are afraid of change and we don't like to see what's happening or what's coming on. And I think we get stuck into this, you know, this, I don't want to call it a rut, but we just, you know, life and, 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 and you're, you just don't want to change. You just want everything to go the way it's been going. But sometimes change can be really good and sometimes it can be really bad. And I think as we see this uh, COVID trans, uh, transpire, 19 transpire into uh, the world here, um, for some of us, it's going to go very, very, very bad, and for some of us, it's going to go very, very, very good. And it, you know, and it all has to do with the choices that we make. And so that's why I think it's very important to really pay attention to the choices you make, pay attention to what's going on around you, and and you know, anybody can change. You can, anybody can make good choices and bad choices. I think it's 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 our God-given right to do that. So anyway. Paul and Daisy, we love you guys. Peace out. I can't, I, you know, I'm just, it's such an honor and a privilege. And uh, I thank anybody that watches these videos. Not very many people do. And it's, you know, it's more a tribute to me to go back on these and be able to uh, share it with the world. I, I think we're a world at war right now. And uh, this is my way of fighting. Uh, you know, it's sharing the message, you know, and some people will get it and some people won't. And it'll be very few that get it because very few people watch the videos. But Anyway, like, subscribe, uh, hit that uh, bell there, and uh, Paul Bates, Daisy, we love you guys. Peace out. Have a good Friday, and have a great weekend. We'll see you Monday, back from uh, Money Monday. Anyway, thanks. Bye.